you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I love sunglasses. Look how many I feature right there in my background. Today's review is actually on a pair of sunglasses, but it's not just a regular pair of sunglasses, but it's also a music player called Zungle. What's up guys, my name is Eric and on this channel I like to do a lot of product reviews and sometimes how to do's on anything that can help you and your family out. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so you get notified of new videos every week I put them out. For full disclosure, Zongo did send these to me for a review. This will be an honest and unbiased review, and if I don't like them, I'm definitely going to tell you. I will be leaving affiliate links where you can pick these up or get more information in the description and also in the comments below. So definitely check those out. Where the beats? Look at this thing. It looks like a coffee bag. I picked up a couple extra lenses. Ah, uh, can you smell that coffee? Like a little egg carton. Inside you got the USB wire. This looks like the charging wire. Better than your X sunglasses. Well, that's gonna be hard to beat because I got a lot of X's back there. First thing I noticed is that the sides, the arms are definitely much bigger than a normal sunglasses. There's a pair of YouTube glasses. You can see it right there, that's the side. And then this is the side of the Zungle. So you can see how much thicker it is. But it's not that bad. Here's another angle. Let's try these bad boys on. Okay. Filled, just like normal sunglasses. It may be a little tight in the back, which is expected because it has to touch your sides. But otherwise, they're pretty comfy. Now, I did get the black ones, but it does come in a bunch of different colors. I think there's a white, um, there's like a gray one, and there's also a different style and a bunch of different lenses. So I might change out one of these lenses really quick before I charge these bad boys up and uh, see what this thing's all about. I don't know how easy it is to pop out. I do like how it says right here, wear the beats. It's actually a pretty good slogan. It says to press it out, you wanna put your thumbs on the inside of the lens and your fingers on the outside of the frame and push the lens out. Oh, there we go. You guys see that? That's pretty easy actually. We're gonna try this again. Here we go. What do you think? To insert the lens, insert the lens from the inside of the frame. Place the upper nose side edge of the lens into the upper nose side groove of the frame and gently press on the center of the lens. Continue pressing around the edge of the lens until the lens is completely inserted. Okie dokie. I like these purple blue ones. Gotta make sure you put the left one in the left one and the right one in the right one. Okay, it says put the corner in. Putting them back in is a little bit harder than getting them out. I really do not want to break it. Especially the blue ones. I kind of like the blue ones. They either broke it or went in. Made a little snap. I think I got them in. All right, time to do the, the right side. Yeah. There we go. I got the hang of it. But now these things are filthy dirty. Good thing I got my little handy dandy peeps. These things are awesome. Especially when you have a lot of sunglasses like I do. And you want to take care of them. Go around, clean both sides at the same time. Apparently these things are the same things that they give astronauts to clean lenses on the spaceship. Has some uh, carbon fiber built into this thing. Don't understand the science, but hey, they clean pretty well. And just like that, they're brand spanking new. They just stick it back into its little container and it recharges it. For some reason, these things are Fogged up. Wow. 
Wow. What the hell is wrong with these things? That is very, very weird. All right, here's the original. Here's the orange ones, or yellow ones. And then here are the pink ones. See how it's kind of fogged up? See the difference? Same thing with the blue ones. That is weird. All right, let's go ahead and charge these things up and we can review them more. There's USB, and then there's two proprietary chargers for either side of the glasses. You just take it and push it on, just like that. Take the other side, push it on, just like that. What I don't understand is why does it have to be connected to both arms? Why couldn't they design it to charge just from one side? Another thing I'm wondering about is why didn't they do something more common like micro USB? If you lose this or you damage this wire, there goes your whole sunglasses or you have to buy a new wire. You have to spend more money. Whereas if it was micro USB, I have plenty of micro USB wires. It's pretty cool when it's charging, it turns red. I don't know what happens if you unplug it. That light turns on. Let's see, the other side stays red. That way you know it's charging or not. actually figured out why the lenses were foggy. It's actually a little protective cover on there. I guess they put on there for shipping. I wish there was a little tab so you'd know. Um, it was a little difficult to get off, um, but once you know it's on there, you just take your nail and kind of scrape at it and then eventually it comes right off. Finally, we come to the point where we put these on. Oh, so much better, I can actually see. Gonna hold down both buttons. Power on, both ears. Connect it up. There it is, got Zungle. Look, they put a little smiley face with sunglasses. That's pretty cool. There we go, it says it's connected. I'm just gonna turn on the radio. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Now, definitely doesn't sound like a pair of headphones, but it's pretty cool. You can hear your surroundings. You can definitely hear it even when it's not on your face. But the bass, you can kind of feel the bass in your face. Bass in your face! I like it. Bass in your face, bass in your face, bass in your face. It's actually not too shabby. Now being in a studio, this is plenty loud enough, but being outside, I definitely see this not being loud enough at the, the loudest volume. I like how the buttons are on the inside. All right, so at full volume, I know other people are gonna be able to hear these, so you, if you don't want other people to hear it, you're definitely gonna to have to turn it down. This is about two inches away, six inches away, about a foot away. All right, let's, all right, let's go ahead and try Siri. and press it. Siri, what's the weather like? It's currently cloudy and 62. Here we go. You can make wireless phone calls. I'll call my wife really quick. Nothing, I'm just testing out my sunglasses. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Do I sound like far away or anything? Yeah, you sound like you're on your phone. Oh, that's cool. All right. Thanks, baby. I appreciate it. All right. I love you. All right. She said, I sound like I'm just on my phone. So very cool. You can use Siri or Google Assistant. It has four hours of playtime. Took me about an hour or so to charge them up. And I'll let you know in my full pros and cons list if I get a full four hours or if it's less than that, I'll definitely list that in my website. So definitely check out the full pros and cons list right up there. It is sweat proof. So if you want to work out with these things, these things should be a-okay. Once again, I will update my pros and cons list. It is very lightweight, like regular sunglasses actually to me. Uh, maybe a slightly heavier, but 
you really cannot tell the difference. It is Bluetooth 5.0, but it is compatible with older versions. To wrap up this video, honestly, I like these. I think they're a little bit expensive for what they are, but if you, you're a biker or you you need this at work because uh, you gotta have your ears open to, and to your surroundings, something like this is perfect where you can still get a little music, but if you're trying to hide the music away from other people, this is not for, for you. Um, people are still gonna be able to hear that music, especially since you have to make it a little louder to you know to make sure you can hear it um, you know anything outside if you're you know doing yard work or something like that these things are perfect I do wish it came with something a little bit more common like a micro USB wire rather than their own proprietary little devices which can easily break or you can lose them and then you're out of luck because you can't charge up your glasses I wish the battery life was longer four hours is very limited I think most wireless headphones these days are 8 to 12 hours so this being only four is kind of very very limited they also don't fold down all the way which is not a huge issue to me um, I do wish they included some type of case though. Uh, most sunglasses at this price range comes with a case or a bag. At the minimum, they should get a bag. Um, but at this price range, there should definitely have been a case so you can protect these. So definitely check out the full pros and cons list right up there. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know you were here. Check out these other two videos right there. And if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, this blue circle. And if you want to check out my super subscriber page, my Patreon page, click on the blue square right there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.